Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Okay, so we have a little bit of a doozy on our hands here. I had to double check to see if this, this publication was real. Hispanic News Network USA reports in the wake of the Miller Coors shooting in Milwaukee yesterday. Uh, deceased shooter at Molson Coors Beverage Company allegedly complained to management of racist act against him before getting fired. It shows the picture of the dude shooter who claimed, I believe it was six lives. And then it shows this uh, couple of screen cap tweets here from Matthew Keys breaking and law enforcement sources confirmed to me that this is the gunman in today's mass shooting in Milwaukee. 51 year old Anthony Farrell, a 20 plus year employee at Miller Coors, Morrison Coors, just sort of like recapping what happened. And then we got Mr. Tony Muhammad here. You know, I don't know if you, you got to question whether or not these are trolls. The active shooter at Miller Coors hashtag Miller Coors is retaliating due to Miller Coors white male racist working environment. I have three sons that experience white male employment discrimination while employed at this white racist company with a long local history of employment discrimination against African-American male employees. So they're already starting off by sort of like all oh, flat out justifying it by saying he's like enacting retaliation of some sort. When they use words like, you know, uprising in the wake of, uh, riots and stuff like race riots and stuff like that it sort of invokes the same feel but the article continues uh, racist taunting by employees targeting an african-american employee might have led to five employees being fatally shot including the shooter at the molson coors beverage company formerly known as miller coors nelson h goodson uh this is a really weirdly structured blog here which you know it seems kind of tiny too which almost makes it seem like i don't even know why i'm responding to this but i just saw a couple of clips and excerpts in here that just made me like just jaw-droppingly stupid but uh this is sort of just like a recap of what happened dude just opened fire on a bunch of employees at the plant he claimed i guess five six including himself uh <laughs> It says the deceased shooter was identified on Facebook as Anthony Farrell, who worked at Miller Coors, yada, yada, yada. Multiple Facebook posts indicated that racism by employees at Molson Coors might have triggered the multiple fatalities, and a post also identified the shooter. I think what triggered, I mean, I don't need to be the obvious, like, grug brain here to point out, like, what triggered the shooting, what triggered the fatalities was dude snapping and killing people, uh... And they're just re you know, recapping what this Tony Muhammad gem has to say. The shooter at Miller Coors is reported to suffer racial discrimination and harassment from white coworkers. He recently filed a civil lawsuit against Miller Coors' racist work environment. The racist white coworkers had hung a hangman noose on his locker. Racist white, white coworkers, racist white. He was rehired after the lawsuit five years ago. The white racist, there it is again, male, white racist male harassment continue when he returned to work at Miller Coors. No screen caps of anything. Uh, the racist white coworkers this time humiliated the 51-year-old African-American male by pasting spade cards on his work locker, and making his workday unbearable. Uh, the brother evidently was forced over the edge of sanity to make a violent and act to end Miller Coors workforce racist harassment. Perhaps with this most recent reported incident of workforce, white male racism against African-American Miller Coors in the city of Milwaukee will make fair and equal employment for all a matter of private and public policy. So, then, so I mean, is this just this Muhammad guy and I guess by extension... Hispanic News Network, are they signing off on what he did as sort of like a, you know, like a radical revolutionary act of retaliation against Miller Coors? Is that what they're, is, is that what I'm to understand they're doing here? Because that is just, I, I don't know, man, you don't get to kill people because people are racist toward you, whatever that even means anymore. Um, 
you don't get to sight being sent over the edge of sanity because again, no screen caps, no, no receipts, no proof about this alleged, uh, one of my sons was wrongfully fired due to white racist coworkers and supervisors, racial targeting him. It's just poorly written, like quasi ebonics. The other two quit because of the hyper white racism practice at Miller Coors. Our young people do not have faith and rightfully so that filing employment discrimination complaints will change the white racist outcomes, quality of outcome versus quality of opportunity um, in the American workforce. So basically the only sources about this racism are not screen caps, not, you know, any sort of, you know, where, where was it in the article? I think I missed a, a spot here. There was like a, right, okay. Recently filed a civil lawsuit against the racist white coworkers who hung a hangman noose on his locker. He was rehired. Yeah, I mean, no screen caps of that. You'd think that there would be pictures or screen caps of such a damning sort of incident. But also, like, that doesn't even, I mean, regardless, I can't even believe I'm entertaining that. That doesn't justify the whole thing which is what these people are doing. They're straight. I mean, they're flat out justifying the shooting. That's what these people are doing. <laughs> like they're justifying it because more racism, more Ray, a systemic system of structural Ray. So police have not released any information or confirmed during their preliminary homicide investigation. If racism targeted at the shooter by unidentified employees, was the motive that led to the firing of the shooter on Wednesday for allegedly reporting a... This is so bizarrely written. Bizarre claims, bizarre writing style. At a press conference, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett stated that the multiple shooting was a cowardly act and hopes it never repeats again. Oh, that is just staggering, scathing racism. The deceased victims have not been identified... Um, according to AP News, a lawsuit was filed in 1994. Three former employees of Miller Brewing Company's place in Fulton, New York, alleged in a lawsuit that employees were subjected to racist name-calling. Oh, my God, dude. So that's it, huh? Class action lawsuit filed in 1994 about, like, racist jokes or something. I had to double-check and see if this Hispanic news network... Thing was real and you know lo and behold it is there's a twitter fairly active twitter presence and uh fairly active twitter presence um <laughs> there's people in the comments you know doing like the current year stuff current year jeez i don't know man but anyway this channel is completely demonetized if you want to see more material like this Give my PayPal link some love. Give my merch link some love. My Teespring, whatever. Send, send me some PayPal bucks and I'll mail you out some stickers. I had some new holographic ones made. But I, I don't know. I just wanted to share this. This is just a ridiculously frigid take on this whole thing. But, uh, I don't know. Either way, subscribe, bitch. Subscribe, bitch. Worst. 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 You're from the country that you're from.